Thank you for joining us as we continue along in our presentation series. Well, you may be sitting back and saying, what are you dressed up like? Well, actually what we're trying to do is simulate what it might be like if you had to do online electric motor testing. As you can see, I have my face shield on, I have my safety glasses on underneath the face shield. We have on our rubber gloves with our uh, leather gloves over the rubber gloves for protection. We have our long sleeves on. And maybe where you're at, it's even more restrictive. Maybe you have to have a rope tied around you to, with somebody on the other end to pull you off in case there's a problem in the switch gear. Maybe you have to be roped off in a, in a completely encased uh, rubber area so that it's completely safe. Now once you're all dressed up and you're in your safe area, you have to take these little, little leads here and go into the switch gear and actually hook up to a motor while it's running. This in itself can be very cumbersome. So you ask yourself, is there a faster way, a more efficient way, a safer way to do online electric motor testing? And the answer to those questions are yes. So if you just sit back and relax and listen to this next presentation or the next couple of slides, we're going to talk about the MTAP2 and the MTAP3, which is PDMA's answer to safe online electric motor testing. And when I'm done with the presentation, I'll come back with a few final thoughts. Safety. It's not just a word. It is a way of life. If you go to any successful corporation, typically what you'll see there is they monitor how many days it's been between safety incidents. At PDMA Corporation, we're as well very concerned with safety, developing products that help the technicians test safely. So what is considered safe testing or a safe voltage to test? Well, according to NFPA 70E, energized parts that operate at less than 50 volts to ground are not required to be de-energized if there will be no increased exposure to electrical burns or to explosion due to electric arcs. So essentially what we try to do is bring a safe voltage to the front of the test panel. Well, here we can see, as we mentioned earlier, there are programs that are very restrictive when they're doing online testing, and this would be one of those situations. He's in a full shield, face shield here. Uh, we have full Nomex, our rubber gloves, our leather gloves, and you can see all this PPE, and we're required to go into this small area to do the testing. Well, PDMA's answer is to go from this environment to this environment, where we bring that voltage, whether 600, 480, 240, 120 to a safe voltage less than 30 volts. Now how do we do this? Well, we have our MTAP2 board and as I mentioned here's our transformer. Voltage comes in here through the fuses into our transformer here which is takes 600, 480, 240 or 120 and transforms it down to a safe voltage. We have our three CTs which go into our board as well comes through our internal cable and through the test port. And once again, we're delivering a safe voltage and current to that test port. Here's a customer installation where we've, they've taken 15 MTAP2s, installed them in one enclosure, creating a very safe and fast environment to do testing of those electric motors. Now, the benefits of the MTAP2. Well, as we mentioned, increases safety via low voltage connections. Under 50 volts is considered safe. Reduces testing time. Obviously if you don't have to dress out in PPE, that saves you time. There's only one single connection point. You don't have to hook up three phases of current or three phases of voltage to collect that information. Motor condition accurately determined. You've only hooked the MTAP2 up once and it's always going to be the same every time you go to, to hook up that connection. And we meet OSHA and NFPA 70E for safe testing. And we meet CE UL 508 and CSA 22.2 number 14 standards. Now we also have a current only version called the MTAP3. The MTAP3 essentially just takes current on all three phases and brings it out to the test port at the front of the MCC. And here's an installation where the current comes in through here. And the benefits of the MTAP3 are as follows. Well, it's low cost. It's lower cost than the MTAP2. Smaller size. You saw the size of it. It's very small. As you can see here, it's very tiny. 
very small, a couple of inches in, dyna in uh, size. With quick installation, it meets CE UL 508 and CSA 22.2 number 14 standards. And it allows you to purchase the CT separately, where we have four standard ranges. Well, that was a, a quick look at our MTAP 2 and our MTAP 3. I'd like to thank you for your time. And stay tuned because I have some final thoughts on the MTAP 2 and the MTAP 3. Well, I hope that you found the information regarding the MTAP 2 and the MTAP 3 very informative. On a final note, remember, there's no need for face shields. There's no need for electric rubber gloves and leather gloves. You can rely on the benefits of the MTAP-2 and the MTAP-3 for your online electric motor testing. As always, we thank you for your time, and we look forward to seeing you again real soon. Have a great day.